Hi everyone, welcome back to Lockdown Fishing Part 3. My quest for roach continues in my local River Chew. Uh, I didn't do myself justice, I didn't feel, on my last video, so I'm back down here for more torture. Anything over sort of three or four ounces will be uh, an improvement. So uh, it's an easy uh, mission to accomplish in that sense, but whether there's any big ones in here still or not, I really don't know. There's only one way to find out. I've got about half an hour of light left. I'm hoping as darkness comes, these fish are going to switch on. Um, earlier on I put out a load of hemp. I fannied about with a um, scent pin reel for a little bit uh, with a float and had one little small dace and one small roach. Um, but if there's one thing I learned from my uh, last week, it was that you can't cover both bases for the uh, roach and the chub and barbel. Scaling down made all the difference. So that's what I'm going to do tonight. I'm going to use a size 10 Camazon B520 hook on two pound hook length. And, um, and hope that that finer tackle pays off. Single swan shot as well on the line, no running lead, no running rig, and a bow in the line, so there's a little bit of slack and a little bit of give. I think with all my lure fishing and fly fishing, I've forgotten just how much finesse is needed in targeting roach. Really simple setup, I'm fishing just that, that one piece of shot on six pound line. I can't see nothing, but I can see it on the screen, not in front of me. If you, if you ever use hook to nylons and you find that when you take them out of the packet they can turn into a knot, just put your fingers in the middle of the loop. Don't just pull, put your fingers in the middle of the loops and just ease it apart. And it should all come apart nicely. Right, there it is, two pound line, very light. To attach it to the main line, all I'm going to do is put one loop through the other, like so and then drop the hook through, like so, and there's our loop to loop. If you don't use hook to nylons while you're out fishing, I really encourage you to make that switch from tying them straight onto your line. First of all, first and foremost, it's better for the fish, because for the line breaks, all that fish has got to swim around with is a small piece of line that long, rather than all your main line. So do it for fish welfare reasons, but also because it's much better presentation using a thinner line. Another hand for the tears before it gets dark. I'm going to start off just using half a lobworm section. And that's all I'm going to have on there. It's funny because in my fishing vlogs I go all over the place and have some of the best fishing in the southwest but I've neglected my, my fishing on my doorstep. Thanks for all the nice feedback from my last video by the way. I really wasn't expecting that. I was expecting no feedback whatsoever. Uh, in fact I didn't expect anyone to watch it because there was no big fish in it. Apart from the salmon that jumped. Really interesting hearing from some of the people who have fished here a lot longer than I have as well. Apparently there used to be a lot more bigger fish about. Fishing tears over hemp. Apparently there's a way to get these big roach. Am I going to fish an hour in start? I won't deny it, my, my mental health's not been good recently. Just the stress of lockdown, not being able to work. Fishing's the perfect tonic for it. I think what I'm going to have to do is switch that light off. It's nagging me out and I don't think I'm going to catch whilst it's up like a Christmas tree. It's lovely. Absolutely no luck on the knob worm. Well, I just had a go on the uh, thread plate. A single BB shot meant I could cast out straight. The flake itself was only just wafting down through the water and it spun all the way round, excuse me. I've just about given up on it, thinking that I hadn't put enough shot on to take that flake down, and I had an absolute pink bike. And it stands to reason, doesn't it, there's a duck pond to my left. What's the natural food for the roach? Well, the kids come down and feed the ducks about... That's it. Now I'm in brambles. They come down and feed the ducks bread every day, don't they? Of course. And there's so much leafage on the, on the deck at the moment. A nice piece of red flake wafting around just on top. It's nice and visible, quite white. Lost my hook. There you are. 
big old flake. I checked my hook. That's tied on fine. Maybe I just struck too hard. Missed. can't begin to tell you how pleased I am with that. That's really promising. Quickly, uh, bring that to the camera. Ah. With a chew roach. I had a feeling they got bigger. He's got to be knocking on for a pound. I won't weigh him. Let's try and get a quick picture. So they are in here. I had that on a on a log one. Brilliant. <laughs> Berman. Oh, how did I miss that? Had a good chat with a, a local angler um, called Christian, and we were saying, um, oh, the increased pressure on this fishery because of the barbel is no real bad thing. It means more food's going into the fish, more loose offerings. And hopefully, that means they'll grow on a bit and it'll sustain a, a bigger fish population. Sure as hell needs it, having done the river fly monitoring upstream and discovered that the invertebrate population's crashed. There we go. That feels like a roach. I'm going to put the bigger light on. There yeah, is a roach. Lovely. Look at that. Oh, is it a chub? No, it's a roach. really difficult getting them close in because of the overhead canopy. Come on. <laughs> Out the net, in the net. Wrong way, mate. Wrong way. There you go. Sorry, the fishing is more important than the bid. I'm gonna have to dim that light. It's making me out. This is a good roach. Nor is that a good dace. Could be a mahoosid dace. Let's find out. That is a mahoosid dace. Quick picture of this dace. Come on, stay still. I think I've sussed it. <laughs> Quality, that's got to be bigger than the last one. Right, let's weigh it. Look at that, that is pucker. What a fish. Didn't 
think I'd be catching something quite as small as that. Perfection in miniature. Sorry about the lighting. Right, let's go and to it back quickly. Fish on. Don't know what it is. It's giving me a good run around. Oh, it's gone! Looks. Oh, shit.